landscape level. So on this opportunity, I would like to acknowledge the presence of our speakers, comprising Mr. Mahmoud Yusuf of Brunei Salam, who cannot be at this event and is represented by Dr. Henry Chan. Uh, Dr. Prabianto is the direct uh, the assistant of duty in our office. Uh, basically, he is the one who lead the coordination in Indonesia on this hard initiative. And Mrs. Uh, Elizabeth Phillips from Malaysia. And certainly, the most important one also, my friend Dr. Efran Satyon, CEO of WWF Indonesia. Ladies and gentlemen, comprising around 23 million hectares of various categories of forest and land use, the heart of boreal landscape spread over three countries and contain extremely high carbon stock, extraordinary biodiversity and the rich cultures and traditional knowledge of the many indigenous communities who have been good steward of the forest in its heart of Borneo. I think the speaker before is also coming from Kalimantan. It's one of the indigenous people that we know that is very important uh, to involve the indigenous community in our effort on this uh, heart of Borneo initiative. The government of Brunei Darussalam, Indonesia, Malaysia through the Heart of Borneo Initiative, adopted a comprehensive grid economic strategy. This indicates a strong commitment to taking into account environmental and social costs in economic development to ensure sustainability, reduce the negative effects of climate change, and achieve the new sustainable development goals. The strategy, the strategy emphasizes valuation of natural capital and environmental services, resource efficiency and low carbon economic growth that is land-based, clean technology-based and people-centered, champions conservation and improve governance of natural resources. It provides the framework to manage the broad landscape surrounding the mountain ranges in the center of the third largest island in the world, Kafar. Three uh, voluntary 
inisiatif Martin, uh, Brunei Darussalam Indonesia and Malaysia which aim to conserve and to implement the sustainable development in the area. Why this important the HOB in terms of uh, sustainable development? The HOB uh, area is uh, covering an area of about uh, 23 million hectares and it is uh, spread out through the three countries. Brunei is uh, around 0.42 million hectares or 1.8 percent. Indonesia is around 63.8 million hectares or around 72.3 percent. And Malaysia is about 6.03 million. In total, it will be around 23.25 million hectares. And the HOB Indonesia is covering four provinces, or we call it in uh, Kalimantan. There is uh, East Kalimantan province with the area around 3.9 million hectares. And then the West Kalimantan province with an area around 4.9 million hectares. Central Kalimantan province with an area of 3.0 uh, million hectares. And the fourth is the North Kalimantan uh, province with the largest area at around 5.2 million hectares. And uh, it is not only covering four provinces, but also uh, around 17 uh, district government. Five years that we have built upon and we have we have uh, improved over time. Um, since 2008, we have actually improved our forest management. Um, unlike our neighbors, north, south, east, and west, we don't have that much of money to implement red plus as the fashion world is it today. So we have moved towards uh, looking at cost-effective improvements. Um, so this is our long-term go goal. Uh, basically, we want to maintain our forest power at 50% up to 2030. We will keep it to 2020 and we are expanding it to 2030. And at that time, we also like to ensure that our forest resources and services are secure. So um, if you like, um, this slide is not supposed to show you just this is forest certification and auditor in action. But I don't know why the word's not coming out. It's actually showing you what is happening, how did we, we move the transformational change from. Slide like this, but it will just show you the transformational changes. From first, we wanted to eradicate poverty, and then we moved on to how we want to maintain our forest areas. Um, eventually, to ensure our ecosystem services. So, based on this, we have developed our red class strategy with a long-term vision to ensure that ecosystem services are secure and the benefits are shared fairly and equitably among all stakeholders. And you heard um, the earlier two speakers, the Tons, saying that the Heart of Borneo project is basically a project that looks at the social, environmental and... ...yang disahkan melalui undang-undang nomor 2 tahun 2013, terletak di Provinsi Kalimantan Timur, berbatasan langsung dengan Kalimantan Tengah, Barat, juga dengan saudara kami dari Sarawak, Malaysia Timur, di mana terdiri dari lima kecamatan dan 50 kampung dan hampir seluruh wilayahnya adalah mencakup area Earth of Borneo atau OB. Kami memiliki penduduk sampai hari ini kurang lebih 29.000 jiwa dan kebanyakan adalah masyarakat Dayak. Dan dalam kesempatan ini salah satunya adalah kami berdiri sini dengan masyarakat Dayak atau Indonesia Sumba. Kemudian Kabupaten ini juga merupakan pemekaran dari Kabupaten Kutai Barat ya, pada tahun. Ada yang terus terpas, kita semua sudah berarti saya ingin setelah. Kalau yang lebih penting, kita pasti harus selesai. Ini juga setelah yang kita.
Lalu mengapa kredit ekonomi dan yang di Indonesia dan Kalimantan Timur khususnya makam dulu? Yang pertama adalah komitmen pemerintah Indonesia untuk mengurangi emisi karbon hingga 25% di mana emisi sebesar 41% dengan support uh, pihak internasional serta pertumbuhan ekonomi di Indonesia. Uh, selanjutnya, secara geofisik dan lokasi Kabupaten Makamulu memiliki peran penting bagi keterlanjutan daerah dari langsungnya Makam, di mana Kabupaten ini tetap paling buruk sebagai Makam dan memiliki untuk pembukaan lebih dari 90% dan memiliki kandikan-kandikan terhati yang sangat tinggi. I think again, the most I would say is of course like uh, the most important thing is uh, the district has the very good goals to the different area and it has uh, almost 90% of forest covered for area from the whole district area. Dalam tata konteks tata ruang kabupaten makam dulu, di mana luas kami ada luas daya adalah satu juta delapan ratus delapan puluh lima ratus lima puluh satu koma enam puluh tiga hektar ini. Ada enam wilayah atau kawasan yang kita perhatikan secara garis besar, di mana hutan produksi terbatas sebesar 640 ribu, kemudian untuk badan air kurang lebih 6,732 hektar, kemudian hutan produksi konservasi kurang lebih 2,777 hektar, dan hutan produksi tetap 212 ribu hektar, serta kawasan pembangunan area pemukiman lain atau the forest area, the better is in combating the climate change. The bigger is the forest cover. And when we talk about the forest forest cover, we talk about biodiversity, we talk about biomass associated to biodiversity. So if we burn or we decompose this biomass, it will release CO2 and That is the adagio, and allow me to think out loud with those four questions. I'm not going to read, but the idea is how we are all here together to support the initiative, and how about my brother and my sister from Africa inspired or we should learn from them if they have something like this transformation in the of this Africa. That is the So I promise I need to start with that news. So, please next. This is Borneo, but I was not born. I was born in 56. And this is Borneo that I saw that when I'm growing. And when I was about to go to the college, to the university, I see another face of Borneo. Next. Next. I'm getting worried if I push next. So, but we need to face the fact. So the deep green is the intact forest. It's mostly in the elevated island, and the light green is the commercial or the exploited forest, and the red.